Wilfred Ernest MacDonald on the right, with two of his fellow comrades. Wilfred, son of Herbert and Albert MacDonald, grew up on a farm at Delroy, which is about six kilometres west of Dubbo. He eventually moved to Ongarva with his family. Wilfred was 21 and working as a linesman in the Dubbo Telephone Department when he heard about the Kui March. Captain Bill Kitchens had the idea of having a recruiting march from Gilgandra to Sydney, stopping at all the towns and villages along the way, in the hope of subscribing more volunteers needed to reinforce the Australians at Gallipoli. Wilfred thought this was a splendid idea and travelled with his good friend William Hilton Saunders to Gilgandra on October 8, 1915 to undertake the medical examinations. The Kuwais left Von Garden for Geary on October 20, 1915. Wilfred was 21 years and one month when he listed in the Australian Imperial Army. On June 6, 1916, Wilfred left Egypt bound for France as Gunnar MacDonald aboard the HMT Oriana. Upon arrival, Wilfred was transferred to the VFA Heavy Trench Mortar Battery of the 4th Australian Infantry Division. In the early hours of 3rd of May 1917, during the Second Battle of Bullecourt, Wilfred was with his unit when they came under heavy German artillery fire. At 3.45am, the Hun artillery opened up and at about 4.30am, the whole of the battery's ammunition was blown up by enemy shell fire, destroying their guns, equipment and causing considerable casualties. Nine men were killed, 14 wounded, 8 suffered shell shock and 16 were reported missing in action. Wilfred was among the missing. His status officially changed to kill in action on August 11, 1917. Wilfred MacDonald has no known grave. His name is commemorated on the Australian Villiers Breton Memorial in France. The Roll of Honour on the Australian War Memorial and on the Wangarban Soldiers Memorial. On the first anniversary of Wilfred's death, his family placed this on a roll notice in the Dubbo Liberal. In fond and ever-loving memory of our dear son and brother, Gunner Wilfred Ernest MacDonald, who was killed in action at Bullecour, France, 3rd of May, 1917, aged 22 years and 8 months. He marched away so bravely, his young head proudly held. His footsteps never faltered, his courage never failed. His king and country called him, but call was not in vain. In Australia's role of honour, you'll find our hero's name. <laughs>